Hi. <laughs> My name is Lexi. I just want to sit down and chat. So buckle up. Basically, I have been like wanting to make YouTube videos or just like content creation in general for so long. I like post on TikTok all the time, but obviously that's... <laughs> I'm doing my makeup, um, but I just wanted to sit down and chat because I was journaling yesterday and I came to this realization that, well this isn't like monumental, it's just something that like really clicked in my brain in the moment as I was writing it down. There is no time like the present. Where was I going with that? I have just honestly always enjoyed making videos and sitting down I talked to myself all the time I never put that on my forehead I'm not sure why I did that I would make videos like cover videos in middle school and high school I would do like little makeup things and I just think like why why did I ever stop I could have been so successful by now <laughs> but also I can't beat myself up about it because here I am now really trying to I don't know, make a name for myself, I guess. I'm just tired of being kind of like held back by the whole like, oh, well, by this age, you should have like a nine to five corporate job. Like I can't sit at a desk. Last time I had a corporate job, I was absolutely miserable. Like my mental health just absolutely plummeted. I was like, I have to do something creative, something fun, and this will kind of heal my inner child a little bit as well. Just thinking back to like me making little covers on my MacBook camera. I wanted to make this on my um, computer just because it's really casual. We're all friends here. I hope you choose to stick around. Healing my inner child, kind of making something of the fact that I do talk all the time, even when I'm fully by myself as I am right now. But I think I just want to post on here like maybe some covers, like day in the life, like basically just me getting my shit together. I'm moving into a new apartment. It's literally right upstairs, but I'm moving into a new apartment in literally a month, which is so exciting. I'm going to Lollapalooza. I'm going to the beach soon. I'm going to Boston in September. So it's like I have a lot of exciting things coming up and I want to document them. I also really love editing. Sorry, my mind is like all over the place. Maybe I should start like making notes. But yeah, I just have so many fun things coming up. Like, it's summer. Clearly, I'm unemployed at the moment, so I'm not really doing anything. So I may as well just have some fun with it, you know? Have some fun with life. Life's too short to not be having fun. I wanted to talk about how, like, nothing is embarrassing if you don't make it embarrassing. Or, this mirror is getting on my last damn nerve. Excuse my French. I can't... I keep seeing things about like your fear of being seen or being perceived as holding you back and I'm one of those people I always thought that I was fine with being seen and then I'll like post something on TikTok and I'm like oh what do my friends think that's weird there's also a trending sound on TikTok that's like um your social media isn't for your friends or your family it's for you and your self-expression and I think that's just that's just what I need. I need to express myself in a way that isn't just journaling or just writing. I really want to get into like practicing garage band and stuff and actually producing music. I think that would be really fun. Like I said, this is all over the place, so you're going to have to get over it <laughs> and get used to it because I'm always all over the place. Yeah, I always considered myself like being fine with being seen, but I, I mean, everyone can always improve on quite literally any area of life, so 
I guess we can call this exposure therapy, in a way. Getting vulnerable at the gig. I also just think it's important as an adult, I'm in my early 20s. Still early, not mid yet, I'm 24. <laughs> it's important to have hobbies that aren't surrounded with like going out, drinking, like clubbing and bars and stuff like that. It's nice to have hobbies that I can do solo. Cause I feel like, especially in college, it was like everything I did. It was like, hey, do you wanna go to CVS to pick up my prescription with me? No, I can't. Like also, all of my friends have nine to fives, essentially. And if they don't, they're still like on their own schedule, doing things on their own terms. So it's for sure nice for me to be doing this. And like I said, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Like obviously I used to do it for fun, but now I'm just, I really think this is going to be good for me. Just also like talking, getting all my thoughts out into the universe. Am I making any sense? It's honestly fine if not. And truth be told, like I said, I would love to make music, covers, just like my life, literally my life, niching down. I don't believe in that shit. It's your, like I was saying, it's your social media, it's your presence. It's your life, it is your fucking life. Live it. Everyone is so individualistic and I feel like just talking to a camera and perhaps like building a community, that would be fantastic. I would love to do that. It's one thing to be like, to take care of yourself. I think self-care is insanely important. And like, yeah, be selfish sometimes. Do things for yourself that make you happy, that really fill your cup. But it's also important to make those connections. Human beings are social. It's always been like that, it's never gonna change. Like, tell me I didn't eat. Actually, don't tell me. If you don't think I did, just keep it to yourself. I think that's really all for me. First video. But I definitely want to film our first video back, I guess. This isn't even the first. We're so back. We're so back. <laughs> definitely want to, like, vlog my beach trip. Make it, like, a little aesthetically pleasing and cute. Definitely Lollapalooza. Boston moving vlogs. I love moving vlogs so much. So I really want to like try to take that kind of seriously. But also take nothing too seriously because everything is supposed to be fun. We're supposed to be having fun at all times. And I'm finally making it a priority to have fun and stop dwelling on negative shit. Let's finally be positive. This is a, a message to myself as much as it is to anyone watching this. But yeah, let's have fun. I'm just here to have fun, so let's do it. <laughs> this is a total side note. I just remembered that photo booth inverts everything and I'm gonna have to edit myself inverted. And that's fine. Let's get used to that too. Let's, let's add that to our list of fun things to do. <laughs>